Well, g'day, g'day, everyone. This is your 2021 Dutch Grand Prix Fantasy Review brought to you by Fox Blockhead. Yes, we are back, and I think just in the nick of time. We have our Dutch result here in first place last weekend. Max Verstappen, 44 points. Second place, Lewis Hamilton, 41 points. And third, we have Gasly. Lad Gasly, get in there, 28 points. Mercedes, the top team on 58, and Hamilton. <laughs> that was nearly Bottas. Whoopsie. Fastest lap. Abort, abort. Uh, if you didn't know the race, then uh, you probably won't get that. But anyway, Hamilton with the plus five for the fastest lap. This is the full result. Bottas missing out by a point on Gasly. Maybe he was going for fantasy points. Maybe that's why he wanted the fastest lap. And Leclerc, Alonso, Perez, Latifi in the top ten. Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. Couple of minuses down the bottom. George Russell and Robert Kubica. That should be four. Kubica did not get a zero. He actually got points. But, uh, yeah, that must just be my spreadsheet. My bad. My bad. Mercedes, the top team, 58. Red Bull just behind 55. The value pick of the Dutch Grand Prix. The dream team looks like this for Stappen, Gasly, Alonso, TV Norris, and Red Bull. 205 points for $99.8 million. If you were to join this week, if you were to join from the start, you may have more money to spend than 99.8. So you possibly have switched out someone for a better team. Remember that 205 when we get to the league. You may be impressed. The Dud team, Kubica, Giovinazzi, Russell, Sonoda, Mazepin, and Haas for a minus 32. Kubica did all right for his first weekend back after, uh, what was that, Raikkonen got the uh, the COVID. He was uh, held out because he had the, he's got the virus. <laughs> had the virus. Still does. He's out for another week anyway. Quali, Vettel, one, two, three, four, into Netherlands and did not make Q3. Which I believe is a... I think he got shafted in Hungary as well on his last flying lap in Q3. This time he didn't even make it past Q1, I think it was. Because there was a, a battle with the two Haas drivers around on the back straight or something ridiculous like that. So Vettel misses out, unfortunately. No one in line for a bonus in the race this time. Looking ahead now, Quali, Hamilton, Verstappen, Bottas, Ocon, Gasly, one, two, and three. They're looking for a bonus come Russia. Nothing this weekend for the Italian sprint race. We have Danny Rick, he's on two. He's gonna be looking after Russia to Turkey, I believe. And then we have Leclerc, Sainz, and Alonso all starting a new streak after Netherlands with one, making it through to Q3. Six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's only nine drivers. Who did I miss? Hmm. Who did I miss? And then we have Ocon. One, two, three. Netherlands, he got up. So he's up for a streak in Italy. If you haven't changed and locked in your team <clears throat> for this weekend, Ocon could be a shout for a bonus 10. Russell Verstappen, Gasly, Latifi. One, two, Netherlands. Unfortunately, the Williams drivers didn't make it through into the points again. That would have just been ridiculous, having the Williams drivers three points finishes in a row. So uh, Verstappen and Gasly now on for Russia. And if you'll notice, they're also on the quality streak for Russia. So you might need to manipulate your teams if you haven't got either of those two for a potential bonus 15 points come Russia. And then we have Hamilton and Leclerc. They're on two. Come Turkey, I believe, is after Russia. They'll be on a streak. And uh, nothing else is lining up at the moment. But, uh, you know, we got, we got streaks are all, all over the place. They're all over the place. Mega drivers, do you play it in Italy? Do you wait for Russia and slap it on Verstappen? What do you do? What do you do? The Constructors' bonus chance looks like this. Red Bull, one, two, Netherlands. No. They didn't make it to Q3. The two Red Bull drivers, unfortunately, no bonus points for them. Mercedes, Ferrari, and Alpine all starting a new streak. They will be up for a bonus come Russia. And we have Williams. We've already talked about them. Unfortunately, did not make it to the points, both of them. So they are gone. And then we have Ferrari on one. Oh, did they both make the points? Yeah, they did. They've got a potential bonus coming up on Italy. 
And then we got Mercedes, Red Bull, and Alpine all on one. Mercedes and Alpine on the double streak finish come Russia if they can keep it going, if they can keep it up. I don't know, they've stabilized a little bit. Current driver's standings look like this. Leclerc catching up to signs, equaling him. I'm not sure why he's above him. Maybe it's his price. Maybe it's just the way that I sorted them in the table, potentially. Laura still the value pick of the season, closely followed by Max Verstappen. 1.41 points per million per race. Pretty good. Pretty good value up there for everyone. Almost in the top 10. Almost. We look over to the bottom 10. The value pick, Mick Schumacher, George Russell. George Russell, of course, the last few races, he's, uh, he's top Giovinazzi up there now. And uh, you know what? I should probably add an extra line there for Robert Kubica. He should be driver 21. He may end up beating Mazepin if he gets any more minuses. Next race, look out for it. Constructor standings, Red Bull Honda. They went up another 0.1, I believe. Alfa Romeo, they went down. Uh, Red Bull, still the value pick. Only seven points behind Mercedes. Seven points. Can you believe it? They are pushing them. They are pushing them the whole way. If only, only Sergio could hold up his end of the bargain. If only. Checo, you're letting the team down. All right, over to qualifying. 13 races down. This is what the head-to-head -head looks like. Hamilton over Bottas, Verstappen over Perez, Leclerc over Sainz. These are the drivers you want. Gasly over Sonoda, Russell over Latifi, Schumacher over Mazepin. If you're thinking one of those drivers, and if you can spare the budget, they will pick you up two bonus points in qualifying. More often than not, Norris over Ricardo, Vettel over Stroll, Giovinazzi over Raikkonen. Uh, they are going sti to stick on 12 races combined there because of Kubica. Um... Yeah, not sure what to do there. Because it's not really a head-to-head -head if it's Kubitzer, is it? Maybe I should add an extra little Kubitzer head in there as well. Over to the race battle. Don't know what to say there. Over to the race battles, we have Verstappen, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Russell, Schumacher, and Leclerc, and Stroll, and... That's it. And Ocon. Ocon with a one, one race lead over Alonso. Doing well down there in the Alpines. Raikkonen and Giovinazzi stuck on 6-6. Six, six. Coming into Italy this weekend, they're going to stay stuck on 6-6 six, six, because Raikkonen is not racing. If you've got him in your team, Kubica will automatically be subbed in. The Fantasy Private League. This is where it is. This is where it happens. The top three for the Dutch Fantasy League placings. Number one, we are speed 199 points. Man, that is a good score. Now, if... If they'd turbo Gasly instead of Leclerc, and you would have had to have guts to do that because comparing those two drivers. But if they did, Gasly instead of Leclerc, that, I believe, would have been almost the dream team for this weekend. Almost. Uh, but instead of Ocon, it would have been Latifi. And that would have been the dream team. Brilliant, though. 199 points. We are speed. Awesome work. Second place, we look at here, Subaru F1 for 187. Turbo Norris. If the turbo went to Leclerc, I think that was an identical team to the first place. And third place, we have Tom Team 1 with 181 points. The turbo went to Perez instead of Gasly. Again, exactly the same team. This is becoming a bit of a template now. Red Bull is the team. Verstappen, Perez, Gasly, Ocon, and Norris. You can fit them in your team quite nicely, but is that what you want for Italy? Is that what you want for the race coming up? The Fantasy League looks like this. If you want to pause it and search for your team in the Fantasy League, do that. See where you're sitting at the moment. Did you go up? Did you go down? You can see the gold, silver, and bronze from last week. That bronze, that third place for Tom, certainly shot him up the team, shot him up the, uh, the standings there. Soren, 155 points. Letton, other people into the hunt. Although 115, 16, 18, 118 points lead, that's going to be hard to topple. <laughs> a well-played Mega Driver, perhaps, is what's going, to, what's going to do it. But there you have it. That's the Fantasy League. If you would like to join, you're going to make my job dip more difficult because I've got to try and fit you into this page here for the Fantasy League. Maybe we split it over a couple. I don't know. 
The season calendar looks like this. Verstappen taking another victory. We're over to Monza. We have one more sprint race left this season. We have one question mark that needs to be answered down there in at the end of November. Uh, we're off to Italy, Monza, then Russia, then Turkey, and over to the USA, Mexico, and Brazil. COVID lockdowns, exceptions pending, and then finishing the season in Saudi Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabia, and Abu Dhabi. But what's it going to be? Are we going to do a Bahrain outer? Are they going to go back to Bahrain again at the end of November? Mm -hmm. Watch, watch this space. Watch F1.com, uh, Formula1.com. Um, sprint race qualifying, the sprint race, uh, just thought I'd throw this up again, just in case anyone, any of you, any of you, any of you had forgotten with thinking, what is the sprint race points all about? That's it. Bonus points for the top 10. If you're disqualified, you get a minus fastest lap is three ahead of your teammate gets you two, one point per position gained minus one per lost finish it. You get a point and Monza, the second race. The second round to ins include the sprint quality in 2021. Well, good luck heading into Monza, the Italian Formula One Grand Prix, September 10 to 12. Quality is 6 p.m. September 10th local time. That's the Friday night. That is not long to go once this gets uploaded. So hopefully you get to watch this. Hopefully it influences what decisions you make and hopefully you make some good choices heading into Monza. I hope we have a ripper, another ripper of a round weekend. But that is all for me. Fox Blockhead, I wish you good luck in your fantasy placements and tipping and, and picks and all the rest for the Italian Formula 1 Grand Prix and into the rest of the season. I will see you again after the Italian Grand Prix. Hopefully we have another banger. We can talk about it and maybe it'll maybe it'll throw up her another weird one. That'd be interesting, like last year. Oh, that'd be good. All right, <laughs> that's all from me. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Fox Blockhead. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later, alligators.